In a surprising turn of events, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that has astronomers around the world in awe. A few weeks ago, the telescope discovered the earliest known galaxy in the universe. But now, it has detected something even more massive, a supermassive black hole moving away from its galaxy at an incredible speed of 4 million amperes. Scientists and space enthusiasts have been speculating about what this latest discovery means for our comprehension of the cosmos. It has important ramifications. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on a mission to explore the first stars and galaxies in the universe and has captured stunning images of the death of stars and galaxies from a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We invite you to join us to explore the latest discoveries from this telescope. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this one. The latest discovery is challenging the scientific community's current understanding of black holes. Most people think of black holes as huge objects that pull everything, including light, toward them. However, the black hole that was recently observed appears to be acting in the opposite direction. Instead of absorbing light, it is creating new young stars along a long trail. This new trail of newborn stars has been observed in the wake of the black hole which stretches an incredible 200,000 light-years away. The peculiar behavior of this black hole, in comparison to other black holes, baffles researchers. But a team led by geoastronomy professor Banda recently reported their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also confirmed these observations, suggesting that the black hole awakens new stars when it comes into contact with gas and cools it. We are seeing the wake behind the black hole. But that's not all. NASA has made an exciting announcement about the galactic merger ARP-220, which was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This impressive galactic merger can be seen shining among other galaxies in the night sky. When two spiral galaxies merge, the phenomenon known as ARP-220 shines brightest in the infrared, making it perfect for observation by the James Webb Space Telescope. It is classified as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy with a luminosity of a trillion suns, compared to our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which has a much lower luminosity of about 10 billion suns. ARP-220 is located in the constellation of Serpens, about 250 million light-years away. It is considered the brightest of the three closest galactic collisions to Earth, and it is listed as object number 220 in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. Two spiral galaxies collided about 700 million years ago, causing a huge explosion of star formation. This resulted in the formation of a dense region, with around 200 large star clusters, and a diameter of about 5,000 light-years. Surprisingly, this small area contains as much gas as the entire Milky Way. Previous observations with radio telescopes discovered about 100 supernova remnants in less than 500 light-years across. Then, the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that the parental galaxies are located 1-200 light-years apart and that each core contains a rotating ring of star formation that emits dazzling infrared light. The latest views from the James Webb Space Telescope show an impressive galactic merger of the two galaxies. This image also shows faint tidal tails extending from the outskirts of the merger, indicating the gravitational pull between the two galaxies. Finally, the red, ochre, and orange streams and filaments represent scattered organic materials in ARP-220. Another stunning discovery stumped scientists when researchers found the primordial galaxies at the edge of the universe. They were skeptical about their authenticity. Some thought they might be nearby galaxies in disguise, so they shared the data with other scientists around the world, hoping for the best. Amazingly, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these ancient galaxies are real. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we can now observe the oldest galaxies ever seen. Astronomers estimate that light from these galaxies has traveled more than 13.5 billion years to reach Earth, giving us a glimpse into the distant past of the universe. These galaxies were discovered when the universe was young, which sheds light, 
on how quickly the first generations of galaxies emerged. The spectral data confirmed that these galaxies are at the edge of our view, some even farther away than Hubble could see. The discovery is significant because it confirms one of the James Webb Space Telescope's most important missions, which is to examine the beginning of the universe through light that has traveled for more than 13.5 billion years. The ability to measure extreme redshifts is what sets James Webb apart, allowing astronomers to peer into the infrared range and observe the first galaxies in the universe. The excitement in the air is palpable, as this discovery marks an important milestone. In the exploration of the universe and in understanding its evolution, the discovery has had a significant impact on our comprehension of the universe and prompted NASA to construct even more powerful telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope to verify the accuracy of our understanding of the Big Bang. Data obtained from Webb's F-spectrometer and near-infrared camera have revealed that four of the six primordial galaxies have extreme red shifts. The James Webb Space Telescope is observing galaxies that imply the existence of heavy elements like carbon just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. This is surprising, given that the universe is thought to be 13.8 billion years old. The fact that these galaxies exist suggests that our understanding of the early universe needs to be revised. The current cosmological inflation model and the Big Bang theory, which has some flaws, like going against the law of thermodynamics and not having a clear explanation for what caused the Big Bang, are being challenged by these new discoveries, which have caused concern in the scientific community. Also, the James Webb Space Telescope is finding galaxies that are almost as old as the Big Bang itself, which casts doubt on everything we thought we knew about the universe's beginning. According to theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, the discovery of ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope has called into question everything we knew about the beginning of the universe. Previously, these galaxies were thought to be less developed than the Milky Way, but the new findings suggest that we may be missing crucial information. The telescope's discovery of six galaxies, which were up to ten times larger than the Milky Way, and existed half a billion years after. The Big Bang raises the issue of whether or not our current theories regarding the origin of the universe are accurate. According to Kaku's explanation, the formation of a galaxy like the Milky Way takes billions of years, so it is strange to find such large, young, primordial galaxies. The textbooks on the universe's beginning may need to be rewritten in light of this discovery. Findings from the James Webb Space Telescope challenge what we thought we knew about the Big Bang, leaving scientists at a crossroads. Despite this, NASA recently tweeted about a galaxy cluster that lies just 650 million years after the Big Bang, adding another intriguing piece to the puzzle. Astronomers have analyzed the data and concluded that this fledgling cluster is expected to grow in size and become something similar to the colossal Coma A11656 cluster. Because it is in a region of accelerating galactic evolution, the location where all of this is taking place is unique and special. Researchers now have the confidence to confirm that these seven galaxies are bound together in a proto-cluster, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope's ability to measure their velocities. NASA researchers compared these distant galaxies to tiny drops of water in various rivers that will eventually join together to form a large, powerful river, to put this into perspective. Clearly, what we previously believed about the Big Bang is not adding up as expected. However, more data from the Webb Telescope may reveal evidence that could confirm or disprove the theory. Who knows? Maybe the Big Bang did happen but what caused it is a different story. In any case, additional discoveries will have to wait for us, but the answer might be closer than we think. What are your thoughts regarding these discoveries? I'll see you in the next video. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.